first guest today, Juliet Gregson, has been a fan of the Cindy doll since she was four years old, an interest which survived her teenage years and has lasted well on into her 20s. Well, Juliet, can you show me the first one you ever bought? This is the first doll that I actually remember buying from Hamleys in London, and this would be when I'd be five years old, and it probably cost me about £1.50. And do you think she's very valuable nowadays? Apparently, yes, she's worth anywhere between 50 to £100 pounds box, but obviously loose. It's a lot less. Does the condition of the doll not particularly matter to you, then? No. I mean, some collectors obviously would rather have things that are boxed and never removed from the box, but I don't mind buying them just loose. and I just like to give them a home, really. What was it about Cindy that made her appeal to you more than the other dolls on the market at the time? To me, Cindy was more wholesome and she was more English and more quaint. Didn't you feel embarrassed as you got older going in to buy Cindy's? I did, yes. I used to lie and say I was going into shops to buy for my little sister. Being an only child, I think Cindy actually turned out to be an older sister for me, or a younger one. Now, you've got all the things here. You've got the magazines, the Cindy magazines, and you've got some of the special ones, too. I see the uh, royal wedding Cindy down here. Yes, that was brought out in about 1985 when Sarah Ferguson and Andrew actually got married, and they thought, why not? We'll bring out a doll in the likeness of Sarah Ferguson. Mm -hmm. And do you remember it at the time and, and thinking, yeah, I've got to have this one and scouring the shops? Yes, I do remember trying to get hold of the actual doll, but I wasn't able to. So in later years, I had to pick them up at car boots. What about her lifestyle, all the things that go with Cindy? I mean, you've got the caravan, the scooter, the bathroom. It was a whole kind of lifestyle that went with it, wasn't there? Yes, the amount of play scenes that you could actually buy, I think, reflected what people could actually achieve in reality, sort of like a bathroom set, or if they liked horse riding, they could get a horse riding set. Or if they're into beauty, there was a beauty salon that was brought out. And Lots I love the television studio. I mean, that was just <laughs> brilliant, isn't it? Very 70s. Oh, yes, very 70s, as you can see by the dolls, actually. <laughs> and the state of the cameras, too. Things have changed oh, yes. a little since those as well. Where do you tend to find most of the Cindy's nowadays? I tend to find them at boot sales and collector's fairs. You can apparently buy them at auctioneers' houses, but unfortunately, that's a little out of my price range at the moment. Now, you're from Blackpool, from the north of England. Do yes, you I find am. they're cheaper up north than in the south? Yes, I do. Um, in Blackpool, they can range anywhere between 20p, 50p at a car boot sale to about three to four pounds. But obviously, the nearer you get to London, the more expensive they become. They can be 50, mm -hmm. 80 pounds. Now, Barbie has a boyfriend called Ken. Does Cindy have a boyfriend? Yes, she does. He's called Paul. And Marie, which was Cindy's best friend, also has a boyfriend called Mark, of which I have an example of. Oh, right. So, in the storyline, they would go surfing together, go on holidays together, all that kind of stuff. Yes, they would. And what about fashions? I mean, Cindy had some of the top designers of the day working for her, didn't she? She did. Mary Quant and the Emmanuels were some of them that were designing for Cindy. Well, let's take a look at some of the fashions in more detail. And this is the heart of Cindy's play home. Nice pad she's got here, hasn't she? Yes, she comes here to relax after ballet lessons or maybe horse riding lessons. And I should think this must be in pride of place here. Her show jumping trophy, do you reckon? Yes, I think she won that at her show jumping event. Did you have all sorts of furniture and accessories given to you for birthdays and Christmases and things, things like the china cabinet there? Yes, I did. Since being five years old, I used to get them, as you say, Christmas and birthday presents. It's brilliant that you've managed to keep all the accessories, things like the books, and you've even got the table lamp there and the tea set on the tray. I mean, these things in reality are quite small, so very easily mislaid and lost. Yes, I had help from my mother. She used to bag everything and keep it safely stored away. I've heard a rumour that Cindy might be relaunched. Have you heard anything about that? Yes, I've heard that a new company will be relaunching in the summer. So a whole new generation then of little girls are going to be switched on to the magic of Cindy. Yes, I just hope that they love Cindy as much as I did. And the collection's going to continue too? Oh, yes. Definitely. I don't see you stopping somehow. Juliet, thanks very much indeed. An amazing collection. Great to see it Thank all. Thank you. Thank you.
Cindy kept up with the pop charts of the day by listening to her hi-fi and one man who can't get enough of the music systems of the past.